Hi, and welcome back. So a 20-year study out of Sweden has shown that if you're worried about the risk of dementia, a certain longevity diet may not be enough on its own to mitigate that risk. Enough waffling off me. Let's jump into the presentation and let's see what this new study out of Sweden has got to offer. This is the review of a piece that was penned by Nicoletta Lenise, where she looks into a study that was published by the National Institutes of Health's National Institute on Aging. The study examined the effects of a well-loved longevity diet and its effect on the risk of dementia. And there are links in the description below to the studies and the articles I used to put this presentation together. According to a 20-year study out of Sweden, the much-loved Mediterranean diet does not lower the odds of you developing dementia. Previous studies on the potential cognitive benefits of the so-called Mediterranean diet, broadly defined as a diet rich in vegetables, fruit, fish and unsaturated fats such as olive oil, and it's also known for being low in dairy, red meats and saturated fats, have turned up mixed results. Well, this is according to the National Institutes of Health's National Institute on aging. Two 2019 studies in the journal JAMA that included thousands of people and decades of follow-up found no evidence that the Mediterranean diet reduces dementia risk or that the diet quality affects dementia risk broadly. The new Swedish study casts further doubt on the diet's brain bolstering benefits. Dr. Isabel Glanz, first author of the study and member of the Clinical Memory Research Unit at Lund University in Sweden, set out in an email to Life Science saying we did not find any association between either conventional dietary habits or adherence to a Mediterranean diet and subsequent incidence of dementia. These findings, which align with those found in prior studies of similar size and length, were published in the journal Neurology. That said, similar to many previous studies, the research relied on self-reported dietary data from participants, which may not be wholly accurate and can somewhat skew the interpretation of the results. Physiologist Ansel Keys and biochemist Margaret Keys, a husband-wife duo, derived the Mediterranean diet from Ansel's influential research on the link between men's diets and their risk of heart attack and stroke. The research suggested that diets low in saturated fat protect against cardiovascular disease, and Ansel and Margaret drew loose inspiration from Greek, Italian and other Mediterranean cuisines to write their popular diet books. This is according to The Conversation. A quick insight into Ansel Keys if you aren't aware of this charlatan's history. His lipid hypothesis, still not proven, was based on a study of the saturated fat consumption in these countries, which shows a direct correlation between saturated fat consumption and heart disease. What he omitted from his final report was that he had in fact studied more than 20 countries. And when you add the data, there is absolutely no correlation whatsoever. So in my humble opinion, not a man to be trusted when it comes to science, the Mediterranean diet, or his for-profit cookbooks. In theory, by guarding against cardiovascular disease, the Mediterranean diet could indirectly reduce the risk of dementia. This is according to the NIA. That's because the build of a plaque in arteries, strokes, high blood pressure, high blood sugar and diabetes may all raise the risk of dementia. And maintaining a healthy diet can help lower the risk of these age related conditions. The Swedish study does not completely overturn this idea, but it suggests the diet alone does not exert a notable influence on the course of cognitive function in later life. Dr. Nils Peters, a neurology specialist at the Stroke Center Clinic Herslanden in Zurich, and Bernadetta Nasmais, PhD, an associate professor of neurology at the University of Florence, wrote in the journal Neurology that diet as a singular factor may not have a strong enough effect on cognition but is more likely to be considered as one factor embedded with various others, the sum of which may influence the course of cognitive function. 
These other factors include exercising regularly, avoiding smoking, drinking alcohol in moderation, and keeping one's blood pressure in check. In particular, evidence suggests that regular physical activity and consistent blood pressure control are protective against cognitive decline. And these factors are likely more influential than diet, according to the NIA. The new research included data from about 28,000 people who took part in the Malmo Diet and Cancer Study, a study launched in the Swedish city of Malmo in the 1990s. Let's now take a closer look at the study. At the start of the study, the participants were 58 years old. They provided dietary data in the form of a week-long food diary a detailed questionnaire about the frequency and quantity at which they consume various foods, and an interview about their dietary habits. Based on this information, the research team scored each participant on how strictly they adhered to either the standard Swedish dietary recommendations or to a specific version of the Mediterranean diet. Over the next 20 years, 1,943 people, or 6.9%, of the participants were diagnosed with some form of dementia. These diagnoses included the two most common forms of dementia, dementia related to Alzheimer's disease and vascular dementia, which arises from poor blood flow to the brain. Participants who stuck to either a conventional diet or the Mediterranean diet did not have a lower incidence of any type of dementia than the participants who did not adhere well to either. They also found no link between diet and a specific marker of Alzheimer's disease, which they screened for in about 740 of the participants with cognitive decline. Dr. Peters and Nasmayas stated that the overall study does not indicate a specific effect of diet on the course of cognitive function. They also noted that like similar studies conducted in the past, this work does have its limitations. Talking of limitations, there are obviously some limitations that need to be considered when looking at this study. For example, the baseline dietary information gathered from each participant may not reflect how their diet changed over time. What's more, the study participants may have somewhat misreported their true dietary habits. The best way to test the long-term effect of the Mediterranean diet on cognition would be to run a long-term randomized control trial. However, this is probably not feasible to design a 20-year randomized control trial with strict dietary habits. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Now, the more of these studies I read, and I do read a lot, not all of them do I turn into videos, I'm coming to the conclusion that there is no one diet that is right for human longevity. A whole food diet whether that be carnivore at one end or vegan at the other, is definitely the way to go because it reduces the amount of highly processed foods that, in my opinion, have a lot of sugar, and I think sugar is the main problem. As the authors state, there are key factors of exercise, alcohol intake, smoking, and blood pressure that need to be kept in check or need to be monitored for the risk of dementia to be as low as possible. I would also add to that sleep and the reduction of stress. 